guys, what's up? So today's video is going to comprise of me showing you how to uh, take a graphic that you found or created and, and transferring it over to a vinyl cutting software so they can cut it on your machine, uh, apply the transfer tape, and either sell it or use it uh, for application. So I'll be showing you around the office. Uh, let's take this off the tripod here really quick. All right, so the office is pretty simple. I have the, the tool is the Titan 3 with arm system from uscutter.com. It is a 53 inch cutter. Uh, right now I've got a 24 inch silver vinyl on there. Uh, it's super easy to use. Uh, best bang for your buck in my opinion. I paid I think $1,500 for this, uh, which is pretty good considering most cutters are in the four or $5,000 range. And for everything that this offers, I'm pretty happy with the purchase so far. Uh, anyways, I'll show you how to use that in depth later on. For today, just kind of an overview. This is the table that I do most of my cutting, transferring, weeding. Uh, I think I spent $40 at Home Depot. Uh, me and my buddy built it in a night. Uh, it's topped off with an Endura mat, uh, cutting, a self-healing cutting mat. I think it's 40, four by six, so four, four foot by six foot. Uh, plenty big enough to you know, do most of my work. This is the workstation. Just got a little printer, my laptop with all my software, and just you know some paperwork and stuff. All right guys, next I'll be taking you over to the machine to kind of walk you through how to take the graphic that you've created or purchased and uh, transfer it over to the software for your cutter. Let's go into that. All right guys, so welcome to this little mini tutorial uh, I'm trying to put together. So I'll be, I'll be doing more in-depth tutorials uh, going forward on how to create graphics uh, from Photoshop, exporting them into Illustrator, converting them into Vector, or even uh, creating a file in Vector natively. But I'll go into that later. Today's is kind of a brief overview on how to get uh, a logo or a graphic that you've created uh, onto the cutting software, off the cutter, onto your table, transfer tape, the whole nine. Just getting it ready for uh, for sale or for use. Go my company logo, Ghost Graphics. I have this little ghost guy I created, um, kind of in the middle of the logo. Thought it looks pretty good. Uh, so this was created in Photoshop. I will probably end up vectorizing it, but just for time's sake for today, in Illustrator, if you have a pixelated graphic and you go into the object menu, you go into Image Trace, and I've already made this, but if you click Make it will vectorize any pixelated graphic you have. Make and expand, and then you'll have what we have here, which is all math based. It has all the points for the cutter to see, because the cutter doesn't read in pixels, it reads in vector. So you need to vectorize any graphic that you wanna output and cut on your machine. So at this point, everything's vectorized. We will save this as an EPS. So I believe I've already done that just to save time. So if you drop down the menu, typically it'll be an Illustrator file, an AI file. Uh, the tool that I use does not recognize AI, so I use an EPS file. So you'll go ahead and save it there. Click Save, Yes and Replace, that's fine. Here it's just gonna tell you uh, what Illustrator version it'll be saving as. CC is fine. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll go into our cutting tool, which I bought my machine from a company called US Cutter, uh, and they offer this machine. Uh, it's the Titan 3 uh, with ARMS system. Uh, the software came free with it. I'm pretty much just using it as a cutter. You, you could design in the software. I prefer not to. I prefer to design in Illustrator, just because it's what I'm used to. Um, but this tool does, does a good job of, of just being really simple and easy to use. I usually just bring all my graphics into this tool and just use it for cutting only. Uh, up here, today I'll be cutting on a 24 inch vinyl. So 24 by let's say 50. And then we're gonna bring our graphic in, hit import. <clears throat> we saved it in YouTube tutorial. All right, we'll accept. Now it's gonna bring it in real scale, which I, I designed it in Illustrator to be around 24 inches, a little bit smaller to fit within the vinyl. So we are going to rotate it. Yeah, let's do that again. Let's hold down shift when you do this so that it locks it. 
and you'll have to excuse me I'm not using a mouse I'm just using the keyboard and trackpad all right there we go so we got it locked in and you kind of want to see these little dotted lines you want to make sure that they're not coming off of your vinyl that way your machine doesn't get bound up all right looks like we're good to go we're gonna go ahead and file send a cutter you want to change this setting here to accept the media you're using and today we're using a 24 inch vinyl so it'll scale it appropriately now you can see we're gonna have a little bit of extra here so I'll show you on the cut head where you want to set that up so you don't come off of your vinyl um, all right we'll go ahead and send it to cutter all right guys so before we cut actually we're gonna do what's called an area test so what this does on the machine is it allows it to unfurl the vinyl and make sure that you, that you have enough material there so the cutter does not go off the, the media. It's going to check its width. It's going to tell you, okay, that's pretty much the area that I need to cut on. So you have enough material, oh, you're not going to run out, and your, your cut head won't get bound up, you know, running off the edge of the material. All right, we're going to go ahead and tell it to cut now. Yes. Now it's going to do its thing. So for the next few minutes, I'll speed this up, but... Uh, the first time I did this, I was mesmerized by how well this thing cuts. Uh... Alright, so it's got a few seconds left. It's just about done cutting. all set so when it's done it'll kind of go to its rest position uh, what you're going to want to do is move the vinyl down a bit so that you can cut the excess off so it looks like the end of the graphic is here uh, the cut point is here so you're good to go all right shut that down try to do this one-handed see if i can pull it off comes the kind of tedious part. Uh, you're gonna want to weed. Uh, the term weeding is removing all the excess vinyl, the stuff you don't want, the negative space uh, from the vinyl material. So I'll go ahead and set you guys up and kind of fast forward through that. So, all right, so there you have it. So after you know a few minutes of weeding, uh, depends how technical of a graphic you have. This one wasn't too bad. Just pretty much you want to remove all the negative space. So we removed the vinyl from the backing paper. Now all that's left is the negative. So next step is to do a transfer tape. Uh, so here I built from Uline.com. Uh, you can purchase these paper holders. Uh, it's like a roller for, for butcher paper or for wax paper for like a deli. Um, I'm using it for a transfer tape holder. They sell these specifically for this purpose. Uh, they wanted like two, three hundred dollars for something that worked very similar. So I bought this for fifty dollars and it works great. So I'll show you how to do that. So the purpose of transfer tape is to exactly what it sounds like. Transfer your graphic from the backing paper to uh, whatever purpose you're using it for, whether it be automotive, uh, a wall in your bedroom, or any other purpose like that. So today I only have a 16 inch transfer tape here. This is a 24 inch uh, vinyl material, so I'm probably going to have to overlay it twice. Let's make sure, first thing you want to do, so this stuff creates a lot of static cling, so you want to make sure your material is held down to your, to your surface. Uh, so it doesn't pull up because if you get it to pull up then you're gonna have all kinds of binding issues it just makes it really difficult so make sure it's down nice and tight uh, make sure there's no debris on the surface 
uh, wipe it down, remove any hairs or contamination. As you can see, so it's kind of draped. It still has tension off the roll. It's just nice, nicely draped. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to stick it down too firmly to begin with. What I take is a little squeegee. This is like I believe a 16-inch squeegee, and I just kind of swim the transfer tape down, give it the initial tack, remove all the wrinkles, bring it down. At this point, you can. It's hard to do with one hand. Let's see. Cut the transfer tape off. That's pretty much it. You're gonna run. So typically you'd want to just do one pass of the transfer tape, but since this one is a smaller tape than my media used, I'm doing two passes, which is fine, because all you're really doing, this is just a way to get it off the backing paper onto your surface. So this is not an end product. And for today's, uh, today's tutorial, it's just fine. All right, so. Just like before. We're gonna cut the excess off. Okay. And then what I take is a, I believe this is an eight inch squeegee. So I've got all kinds. This is my eight inch rubber squeegee. Uh, you're just gonna kind of finish the job that the other squeegee did. Take all the air out of it, all the bubbles. So you got a little bit bubbling here, not a big deal. This PVC uh, transfer tape. There it is, kind of the finished project. All right guys, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how to get your graphic from an idea, image, something you would create from Photoshop or any other tool onto your cutting software, off your table, transfer taped, and off to the uh, final, final position. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials and how to 